Hey guys, Carlos Tyra here. So today, uh, I'm extending the butt of my eight foot conventional rod. Um, now what I'm doing this for is because I've been fishing off piers lately and I wanna be able to cast my conventional rod out further. And this is some of the materials that I'm gonna use to extend the butt of my eight foot conventional rod. You're gonna need the rod you're trying to extend, which is this, and then you're gonna have to find a blank that's similar in diameter to the rod you're trying to extend. This blank I bought from Mud Hole, it was only five bucks. And this is gonna be close to this blank that I'm trying to extend. You're gonna need a drill, depending on what kind of blank you have. You're gonna need a heat gun, a saw, a ruler, foam grips. This is like a scraper. This is what I'm gonna to use to get the butt cap off of the original rod. A wax pen, measuring cup, a new butt cap, some tape, and some propase. This is a fast set formula. So now I'm gonna show you guys how I get the butt cap off. So let's do that first. All right guys, so what we're gonna do now is take this butt cap off with the heat gun. So <clears throat> what we need to do is put duct tape around this foam because I don't wanna burn the actual foam grip from the heat gun. We're gonna put duct tape around the foam grip to protect the foam. And then we're gonna put the heat gun on there. So after we have the duct tape on there, now what we're gonna do is put the heat gun near the butt and then use this to just slowly pry it off. And it's as simple as that. It might take a little bit, but this should work. So let's do it. And it should come off just like that. This is a little easier to get off, but it shouldn't be too hard to get off most rods. So some manufacturers, after they're done building a rod, um, they'll fill the end of the blank with, um, I guess this is glue. I don't know why they do that, but they do. So what I'm gonna do is take a drill and try the drill at this to see if I can get this off. So let's do it now. And the reason I need to take this off is because I'm gonna take the blank that I bought and stick it in there. And this is what I'm gonna do to extend the rod. So I have to get this out first to put another blank in there. So let's do it. So I was able to get a hole through there. So what I'm gonna do is just keep making little drills just to get all this glue out of here and just break it up. So let's continue to do it. So I changed the tip of the drill to something bigger so I can make a bigger hole in there. So let's do it. So to get the rest of this off, I'm gonna just use a heat gun to heat this area up and then I'm gonna take a razor blade and scrape around the edges to get the rest of this glue off. So let's do it now. As you can see guys, it is, the glue is out now, which came out perfectly. So all I did was use a drill to drill inside, and then I used a heat gun to get the rest of the glue out with a razor blade. And this just popped right out when I was using it with the razor blade. So now what we're gonna do is take some measurements with the blank that we bought from Mud Hole and then use those measurements to put inside here. So let's do it now. So guys, we're taking uh, the blank that we bought from Mud Hole and sticking it in the butt of the rod, and we're doing this to take some measurements. So now what I'm gonna do is make a marking right here. 
Now, I want the blank to stop in this area. So let's see how many inches it is from here to around this area. So it's around nine inches. So what we're gonna do now is take this blank out and now we're gonna measure nine inches. So nine inches is around here. So now I'm going to use a saw to cut this part off. So guys, we sawed it off. And now we're gonna take another measurement. So we're gonna take a measurement from here to here. So let's do that now. So right now, we're just taking the measurement. So guys, we got this part off. And as you can see, it's really snug right here. So now what we're gonna do is take um, the pro paste that we bought and pro paste this whole area up and then put it in there. Let that dry for around an hour, for around an hour, because the pro paste that I bought is, um, it dries really fast. And then after that, we're gonna put this foam grip on, slide it all the way up to here, and then put the butt cap on, and then we're good. So let's do it. Now, in order to um, build it up, in this area as much as possible because I can hear that um, the blank that I put in here isn't fitting all the way in this area. So what I'm gonna do is use some uh, duct tape to build it up in this area. So it's a nice firm fit. So let's do it. So guys, I just put some duct tape on here to build it up so it's nice and snug in this area. Now I'm gonna put some of this fast set pro paste on here and then let it dry for an hour and then continue to build the rod or continue to build the butt of the rod. So let's do it. So now we're gonna stick it in here. some of this excess epoxy off. And now we're gonna let this sit for probably around an hour or no, nah, maybe around 30 minutes. Hey guys, so the rod is originally eight feet. So I think I wanna make it somewhere between eight feet and eight inches. So I'm gonna cut this part a little shorter. So I'm gonna measure eight inches. There we go, make a mark in right here. And now I'm going to cut this part where I marked with the saw. So let's do it now. And there we go guys, nice cut. So now we're gonna put the foam grip on there, and then after we put the foam grip on there, we're gonna put the butt cap. So let's do it. When you're mixing up the pro paste, you want the same amount of resin and the same amount of hardener. Equal amounts is the key. So I'm mixing it up right now. Now we're just gonna throw it on here. Put a lot of this epoxy on here. Well, not too much, but just enough that you have good coats over the part you're trying to glue. Now that we got the glue on there, we're gonna put the foam grip on now. And this should go on smoothly because of the glue, it's like a lubricant, so it should just slide right on. There we go. We're gonna have a little 
excess right here, so let me try to wipe this up before it gets too messy. And there we go. Alright, let's put it all the way on. There we go. Now I'm going to wipe the excess off. With the napkin. Yeah, guys. Um, so when you're putting um, Pro Paste on here, you don't want to put too much because when you finally connect the two foam grips, if you have a lot of Pro Paste on there, this foam grip is going to move a lot of it up, and then you're going to have a lot of excess. So just don't put too much. Just try to put enough on there. Enough just to do the job. So now what we're doing is going to put the butt cap on. But first, we have to build it up so the butt cap fits. Because the butt cap on here is really loose right now. So I'm putting electrical tape on here so the butt cap fits nice and snug. So now let's put some pro paste on here for the butt cap. Good amount on here. But remember, you don't want to put too much because if you put too much, you're going to have a lot of extra. So just put just enough on here. So, so now let's put the butt cap on there. And it's a nice fit. Now we're going to get rid of some of this excess right now. So the butt cap fits on there nicely. Now we're going to get rid of some of this extra propase. Hey guys, so here's the finished product right here. So what I really wanted to do was cast further. So that's why I needed a couple extra inches to get out there further. The reason I have this bungee on here is because there was a gap right here bigger than this. So I needed the bungee to move this phone up so it can be a tighter squeeze. But there is a little gap right here, but it doesn't bother me. So yeah, guys, now I'm going to let the rod sit for around eight hours and let's see how it looks after that. All right, guys, here's what I've added to the rod from here to here, which is eight inches, which gives the rod a total length of eight feet and eight inches. There is still a gap right here, which in my opinion, I, I don't really like. So I'm going to put a heat shrink grip over the whole entire rod to cover this up. And if you ever encounter a problem where the foam you put on is bigger than the original foam that's already on the rod, all you have to do is take anywhere between a 220 grit sandpaper and a 260 grit sandpaper and sand it down so it's nice and even with the original foam. So yeah guys, if you have any questions about what I did to the rod, please let me know. I'm going to actually add a heat shrink grip to the rod and I'll make that a separate video showing you guys how I do that. So if you have any questions again, just please let me know. Thanks for watching and please like, comment, subscribe and fish on.